Have you ever wondered what the most powerful atomic bomb explosion in history was? Well, you're about to find out. What's up, guys? It's Aaron Polo TV. We're taking a deep dive into the top 10 most formidable atomic bomb explosions known to mankind. This isn't just a countdown, it's a journey through a significant chapter of our world history, a chapter filled with awe and terror. Atomic bombs, the epitome of destructive power, have left indelible marks on our planet and our psyche. Their explosive force, measured in kilotons or megatons of TNT, transcends the realm of human comprehension. From the desolate landscapes they've created to the political shockwaves they've sent around the globe, these weapons of mass destruction have shaped our world in ways we can't ignore. We'll be exploring each explosion, its context, and its aftermath, giving you a glimpse into the sheer magnitude of their destructive power. So buckle up, get ready to know about the 10 strongest atomic bomb explosions that shook our world. Kicking off our countdown at number 10 is Operation Greenhouse. This was an atomic testing series conducted by the United States in the spring of 1951. The operation took place at the Pacific Proving Grounds, specifically on the Enuatak Atoll. Operation Greenhouse was designed to test methods for boosting the yield of atomic weapons. These tests resulted in a whopping yield of 45 to 55 kilotons. To put it into perspective, that's over three times the yield of the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. This operation marked a significant milestone in the development of nuclear technology. It laid the groundwork for the design of more powerful thermonuclear weapons and dramatically changed the world's understanding of atomic power. The impact of Operation Greenhouse was profound. It brought about a new era of nuclear weaponry that significantly shifted global power dynamics. However, the power of Operation Greenhouse was significant, but it's just the beginning. So, let's move on to our next atomic explosion. At number 9 we have the Soviet Union's first lightning. This detonation which occurred in August of 1949, marked the USSR's entry into the nuclear age. The first lightning was a significant event in the history of atomic power. With a yield of about 22 kilotons, it was not the most powerful explosion, but its impact on the world was profound. The world was now faced with the reality of a second nuclear power. The first lightning was a demonstration of the Soviet Union's technological prowess, and a statement to the world that they too were a force to be reckoned with. The detonation of the first lightning caused a seismic shift in global politics, marking the start of a nuclear arms race that would last for decades. The first lightning was a statement of power, but there are stronger explosions yet to come. Coming in at number 8 is the infamous Castle Bravo. This was the code name for the first United States test of a dry fuel hydrogen bomb detonated on Bikini Atoll, Marshall Islands, on March 1, 1954. The explosion was the most powerful nuclear device ever detonated by the United States, with a yield of 15 megatons. That's over a thousand times as powerful as the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima during World War II. But it's not just the sheer size of the explosion that makes Castle Bravo infamous, the test was expected to yield only 6 megatons, so when the actual yield was over twice that, it led to the most significant accidental radiological contamination ever caused by the United States. The fallout spread traces of radioactive material as far as Australia, India and Japan, and even the United States itself. Castle Bravo's fallout was catastrophic, but there are more powerful explosions to discuss. At number 7, we have Ivy Mike. Ivy Mike was a monumental event in the history of atomic power. Conducted in 1952, it was the first successful test of a hydrogen bomb. With a yield of over 10 megatons, it was nearly 700 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Its impact was felt far and wide, ushering in a new era of global nuclear deterrence. Ivy Mike was a major step in atomic power but we have yet to reach the top. Number 6 on our list is Castle Romeo. This detonation, part of the Castle series, made its mark in March of 1954. With an explosive yield of 11 megatons, it was the first nuclear device dropped from an aircraft. The shockwaves it sent across the Pacific were a clear demonstration of the escalating stakes in the nuclear arms race. Castle Romeo was a stark reminder of the destructive potential mankind had unlocked. Castle Romeo was a display of power, but the top five are still ahead. We've reached the top five with Castle Yankee, now Castle Yankee was no ordinary detonation. It was part of the Castle series, a set of high-yield thermonuclear tests by the United States in the mid-20th century. The Yankee test was conducted at Bikini Atoll in the Pacific, an area synonymous with nuclear experimentation. 
The yield of Castle Yankee was a staggering 13.5 megatons, making it one of the most potent detonations in history. This explosion was so powerful that it blew away observers with its intensity and scale. The shockwave was felt thousands of miles away, a testament to its sheer force. But Castle Yankee was more than just an explosion, it marked a significant point in our understanding of nuclear power. It was a chilling demonstration of the destructive potential humanity had at its fingertips, and it cast a long shadow over the world during its time. Castle Yankee was a significant explosion, but the top four are on another level. Number four on our list is Castle Union. A detonation that took place in the mid-20th century, Castle Union is a testament to the relentless pursuit of power during the Cold War era. This atomic test was part of the larger Operation Castle, a series of high-yield thermonuclear weapon design tests conducted by the United States in the Pacific Proving Grounds. The Castle Union test was remarkable for its yield. With a force equivalent to 6.5 million tons of TNT, this explosion was a stark demonstration of the destructive capabilities of nuclear weaponry. Its detonation produced a mushroom cloud that reached an astounding height of over 45,000 feet, painting a chilling picture of the potential devastation these weapons could inflict. The impact of Castle Union was felt globally, its shockwaves reverberating around the world and contributing to the escalating tensions of the Cold War. Castle Union was a major event but the top three are even more powerful. Breaking into the top three is Castle Nectar. This detonation, part of the Castle series of nuclear tests conducted by the United States, was an impressive display of the destructive power of nuclear weaponry. Castle Nectar, detonated on May 1954, had an estimated yield of 1.7 megatons, making it one of the most powerful explosions of its time. This explosion was so immense that it left a lasting impact on the world. The fallout from Castle Nectar spread far and wide, affecting areas far beyond the immediate blast zone. This was a stark reminder of the far-reaching consequences of nuclear detonations, not just in terms of immediate destruction, but also long-term environmental and health effects. The shockwaves sent out by Castle Nectar were felt around the world, both literally and metaphorically. It was a harsh wake-up call to the world about the devastating potential of nuclear weapons. Castle Nectar was a monumental explosion but the top two take it to the next level. Coming in at number two is Castle Bravo. This was the code name for the most powerful nuclear device ever detonated by the United States. On March 1, 1954, this hydrogen bomb was set off at Bikini Atoll in the Marshall Islands. It was part of the Operation Castle series of tests. The yield of Castle Bravo was a staggering 15 megatons over twice the expected size, and it became the most significant accidental radiological contamination ever caused by the United States. Fallout from the blast affected an area over 7,000 square miles. The event raised worldwide concern about the effects of nuclear fallout. The shockwave from the blast could be felt nearly 5,000 miles away and the mushroom cloud reached a height of 130,000 feet. This test marked a pivotal moment in the arms race, a sobering reminder of the destructive power humanity had harnessed. Castle Bravo was a cataclysmic event but the number one spot is held by a truly terrifying explosion. And the most powerful atomic bomb explosion in history is the Tsar Bomba. This monstrous creation, birthed by the Soviet Union, stands as the epitome of mankind's capability for destruction. The Tsar Bomba, or the Emperor Bomb as it is often referred to, was detonated on October 30, 1961, over the Novaya Zemlya Archipelago in the Arctic Ocean. This colossal device was estimated to have a yield of around 50 megatons, which is over 3,000 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima during World War II. The shockwaves from the blast were so intense that they circled the Earth three times. The Tsar Bomba's mushroom cloud reached a height of about 40 miles, which is approximately seven times the height of Mount Everest. The detonation of the Tsar Bomba sent ripples across the globe, both literally and figuratively, marking a moment in history that showcased the terrifying potential of nuclear weaponry. The Tsar Bomba was a display of destructive power unlike any other, marking the pinnacle of our countdown. 